hello guys welcome to the first video tutorial on lab view for beginners and in this video i will show you how to get started with lab view and i will show you how you can uh, use lab view for the first time so when you first install lab view on your system just go to the start and just click lab view and it will open this lab view workbench for you and the very first window you will see on lab view workbench is this window and here you can create a new vi vi stands for virtual instrument and uh, you can create a new lab view project from here and you can see what project you have recently opened in lab view and you can also see what files of uh, lab view you have opened recently the all lab view files have the extension dot vi so these are the lab view files and all lab view project have the extension dot lvproj okay so when you uh, start your lab view and you click this blank vi it show you two panels first is front plan panel and the other one is block diagram panel and in this front panel you will show the process or you will show the graphical uh, front end of your application and in this block panel you will do the programming stuff and because lab view is a graphical programming language it uh, so you uh, will do all the graphical programming here it's not a uh, conventional programming language it's a high level graphical programming language and by using uh, lab view you can uh, do literally anything related to the data acquisition or automation or uh, instrumentation uh, stuff and it's a very strong tool and lab view or national instruments also provide some hardware with integrate with this lab view uh, uh, workbench and together they can be a very powerful tool for uh, your research work related to data acquisition or automation so you can see uh, this front panel and this block diagram panel and first thing you have to know is just in this toolbar just go to view and just click this control palette and this palette you will use all the time to have the controls for example there are two type of main tools here first is called these uh, buttons or input control so these buttons or whatever input controls you have you call them controls and when you go back and whatever output controls or the output stuff you will use are called indi indicators so this is a input because you give or you press button and give the input and for example you want to uh, start or switch on this LED by pressing this button so this is the indicator which shows the output so this is a control and this is the output and one more thing you will see here when you go to view and see tool palette you will be able to see this uh, tools here and it has different tools 
to help you to connect these uh, controls and indicator to together and uh, make a logical combination of these controls and when you put these uh, controls and indicators here automatically in the block diagram panel you will be able to see these uh, back end side of these uh, indicators and control and in here you can join them or you can do whatever is uh, correct for your application you can join them or you can give a logical uh, logical control to them for example here also you can open this view and this function palette so in this function palette you have um, many logical expressions for example these input drivers or signal or these while loops and you will be uh, using this while loop extensively and this output and other functions you have arithmetic functions you have numeric functions so you will be uh, using these functions in the block diagram to give the logical uh, conclusion to your indicators and controls so this is uh, uh, important and one more thing is because lab view is a uh, very extensive and there are so many uh, controls in lab view and you cannot remember every every control you use so you for what you can do is you can click this help and click this show control help from here and now this context help is open and when you hover over any indicator or control from here it will show the help from here uh, that what this uh, indicator or control do so see here when I hover over this button it shows the small help for this control in the same way when you go here in the front end and when you hover over this button it will show the same help for you so this is also important when you are new with this lab view that it shows you a little help which you can uh, read and you can use your controls so I hope this is it for this video and this is a pretty good starting point for your lab view uh, stuff so uh, keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now